Alright gang, for our dual band explosive push-pull drill, obviously you're going to have two bands if you're at home. If you're at the gym, you can use a Kaiser machine, which would be uh, even better. But with the bands uh, that set up here, I have one high attachment, one low attachment. Our pushing band is going to be a little bit lighter than our pulling band. Now, overall, these bands are going to be relatively light because I want you to be explosive with this. This isn't about uh, how fat or how much you can push and pull because that would slow you down. It's about being fast. So this band here, my pushing is about a 30 pound band. This one's a 40 pound band. Okay, so set up in the middle. Try to get to a point where you can kind of feel equal tension on the bands. And then once you have that, just take a step in towards your pushing band or the elevation band, just because you are stronger naturally with a row. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna bring my elbow in nice and tight. Oh, before that, let's get in a good position here. So obviously, as always, good stack of the thorax on top of the pelvis. Big breath in, and as you exhale, let the exhale just kind of naturally pull your lower ribs down to your belt buckle. <sighs> Stay tall, don't lose height. At the same time, just gently pull that belt buckle just ever so slightly up towards lower ribs, okay? Now we have a nice flat back, and you have a nice straight line running the top of the head, ear, shoulder, and hip. Once you have that position, okay, boom, I'm gonna hinge at the hips, I'm gonna load my glutes and my hamstrings, basically your golf stance or any athletic stance that you have. I'm gonna flare out my lead foot, that's totally optional up to you. I'm gonna do it slow here first, I want my elbow underneath my uh, shoulder. I'm gonna load into my right hip and right leg, so good rotation. I'm gonna shift my weight to my lead foot, I'm gonna push that lead foot into the ground. I'm gonna pull my left or my lead hip back as I get into hip extension as I'm pulling or pushing and pulling, okay? So it's gonna look something like this. I want you to reset in between each repetition. So you can focus on not just your form, but also focus on having maximal intent. Again, you want this to be as explosive as possible, not just continuous for a conditioning element, okay? Now, depending on your coach, my coach likes to have majority of my weight on that lead foot, like 95% of my weight on that lead foot. You may not quite get that in this drill, even though I'm trying to achieve that. Just because the bands are pushing and pulling you, there's probably like 10 or 15% more on my back foot than I would normally have in my golf swing, just because I wanna be stable. I don't wanna fall over from the bands. Guys, that is your dual band explosive push and pull drill.